Welcome back to another quick tip. An important feature in visual cue for many real world products is light. Effectively demonstrating a product's functionality by flashing, blinking, or gently pulsing an LED is important. In this video, we'll use the color fade animation node in order to achieve that pulsing LED animation. This is a model of an electric toothbrush docking into its charger. This small cutout right here will be our light source. The goal is to make this light fade in and out once that toothbrush lands in the charger. We're going to use the emissive material for this. It's the perfect material for small light sources like this because it's not meant to illuminate an entire scene. To really see the effects of this material, make sure you have global illumination checked in the lighting tab. Looking at the properties of this emissive material, we're gonna focus on that intensity slider. This controls the intensity of that light that is being emitted. For instance, with a value of zero, that light looks like it's off, but bumped up to three, and it's nice and bright. Here you can change the color of this material, but for this demo, I'm gonna stick with white. Let's open the material graph. This is where we have that ability to add and connect nodes to further build out a material's complexity. In order to animate this light, right click, open the animation, and drop in that color fade node. We want this to be attached to the intensity socket because, as we learned just a bit ago, that's how we'll be able to control and animate the brightness. Now opening that node in the animation timeline, you'll see this black and white gradient. This is responsible for essentially turning the light on and off. We can think of black as a value of zero, meaning off, and white as a value of one, meaning on. So right now, this is going from on to off. Adding more stops and alternating the black and white values is what creates that blinking effect. For this specific animation, I know that the toothbrush docks in the charger at two and a half seconds. So I'm going to set that as my start time and give a duration for now of just six seconds. Then add in several stops and alternate the colors accordingly. You can create a swatch to speed this up a bit. For smooth transitions, be sure to space these out evenly. Based on my timings, they all need to be one second apart. There, now we've got this gradient gradually going from off to on to off, three times every two seconds. Here's how that animation plays out. The pulsing feels a little fast, so I'm gonna increase the duration to 10 seconds. It also doesn't seem like that light is getting bright enough. That's a quick fix in the material graph. Because the white represents an intensity value of one, and we saw earlier in this video that an intensity level of three looks better and brighter, we can just add a color to number utility node. Right now, it's outputting to one, but we'll switch that to three. Also, when the light is completely off and it's totally dark like this, it doesn't look super realistic. So let's also increase the output from value a tiny bit, something like 0.1 or 0.2. And lastly, turning on that bloom feature in the image tab will add that perfect glowing effect around the light. That looks pretty nice. So there you go, a very simple and very easy way to create a pulsing light using the color fade animation node. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. Leave a comment below with your thoughts and don't forget to subscribe for more helpful content. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and share it with your friends.